Let's now have a look at um, small rye um, fault tolerance package um, at the um, how we can use it with uh, Kotlin coroutines. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Because this just works out of the box. <laughs> nice. So. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's oh. have a look again at our cookie resource. Yeah. Do you want to clean something up beforehand? Um, or do we do we need them all? We don't need them all, but we can still have them all. <laughs> of course, of course, but still. Yeah, okay. let's, so let's, let's get rid of it. Yeah, let's get uh, also. Let's say what the uh, cookie service yeah. bake cookie actually does. So we have our cookie resource uh, where we can just call the endpoint and get back a cookie. Um, this is our cookie service. Um, and the bake cookie function, it tries to bake a cookie, but it's a bit unreliable. Um, we have um, a 20% chance uh, that our ingredients run out and we have a 80% chance that uh, the cookies are burned. And only uh, <laughs> if that doesn't happen, we get back some cookies. Um, so what we did, uh, we added a retry uh, and another annotation from uh, fault tolerance. Um, so we tried three times with a delay of a second, but only if it's not an out of ingredient exception, because if we don't have any ingredients anymore, we don't need to retry. And if all of that doesn't help, we still have no cookie left, then we make a fallback to the bake cookie fallback and we get uh, an old cookie. Okay, sounds good. So um, now we have this and we want to um, use Kotlin coroutines. Um, as you might know, Krakus uh, in certain um, uh, extensions, it already supports Kotlin coroutines. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's not the big amount of uh, <laughs> of extensions. Um, that's we still try to push them and push them. Uh, but uh, Red Hat, yeah, they're a Java company coming from the Java world and uh, only slowly getting on the Kotlin train. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> choo -choo. Yeah, okay. but um, for this endpoint, we use uh, Quarkus uh, REST Easy Reactive Messaging, uh, React REST Easy Reactive. Not messaging. I don't know why I have messaging in my head today. Um, yeah. So when you use this direct, uh, REST Easy Reactive, then you can directly use um, suspend functions mm -hmm. as your resource functions. And um, this then expects to be non-blocking and runs on the event loop directly. Mm -hmm. So this is super fast. And um, Where would it run without suspend? Without a suspend, it would uh, run in a thread pool. Ah, okay. Yeah, so um, in Quarkus, Quarkus tries to identify what your method is doing mm -hmm. or how it's behaving. Um, and it's doing that based on the return type. So okay. if you have a, a, such a return type, which is not, um, so you could have a uni, which is basically Quarkus kind of promise. Mm -hmm. um, and if you return a uni, then it knows, okay, this is asynchronous code. You have this method chaining with, with uh, like with promises, then and uh, error or so. But then you would need to write it like uni uh, create from item something. And then you could uh, on item uh, transform it to blah. Something like that, mm -hmm. and also like on error, on failure. Yeah, you could also do something. Mm -hmm. So this is like this reactive programming style. Okay. Uh, where you can do non-blocking uh, programming, mm -hmm. but this is, as you've seen, this is really unreadable. <laughs> I, I don't like it because it's just it hides the intention of the code uh, ah, okay. behind yeah. a lot of boilerplate. Mm -hmm. um, but if Quarkus detects this, then it expects it's a non-blocking method. So everything that is blocking that you want to do in there, mm -hmm. blocking the thread, like a thread sleep or calling IO, uh, you would need to do uh, on a thread pool. And there's mechanisms for it to say like, okay, now run this part on a thread pool. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but you must never block the execution in the in the uni because then you would block the event loop of progress and then it cannot receive any more uh, requests at least if all event loops are blocked <coughs> because progress okay. has multiple event loops so um, but if you have this it expects okay there might be blocking code because this is like the standard java enterprise coding model mm -hmm. uh, from since ever um, and there it was always done with blocking Mm -hmm. And so you can just use that and do blocking stuff in here. So thread sleep, uh, thread dot sleep is it's not recommended because it's still <laughs> stupid <laughs> okay. to do that. Yeah. Uh, but you can do it, and uh, it won't kill Quarkus or mm, nice. okay. block it. Um, but you can also use like suspend functions, mm -hmm. and then again, uh, it's expected that you're doing um, non-blocking stuff. Okay. And if you like our method here is not blocking, then you could also explicitly say non-blocking. This would now prevent this method to, so it would make that this method is run on the event loop mm -hmm. uh, and not be run on a thread pool that saves you the thread switch. Yeah. So it would actually be the same as uh, suspend? Yeah. Okay. But suspend brings us to the Kotlin suspend function mm -hmm. world. And now we can also call other suspend mm -hmm. functions like this here. And maybe uh, the cooking or baking process or before we even decide, this takes a bit of time, like two seconds or so. Now this is also a Kotlin delay. Mm -hmm. So this will not block the thread. This is, you see here, this is a suspend function itself. Okay. And you can also only call it in a suspend function. Mm -hmm. uh, now it would not work because we ah, have okay, no suspend yeah. function. Okay, I didn't see that you uh, removed yeah, the suspend. Yeah, yeah. you were a little bit too fast. Okay. Yeah. So if you have a suspend function, then you can of course call delay because it's suspended. It's, yeah. If you don't have it, then of course you can't use it because it's not supposed to be uh, stopped anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Got it. And um, yeah, if I want to do to do a delay, then I would either have to use something in uni which does basically the same as delay mm -hmm. not block but also delay it mm -hmm. and um, boilerplate or you would need to use thread sleep but that would really sleep that thread <laughs> yeah Great um idea. and if you get a, a thousand recalls uh, calls per second you don't want to sleep for two <laughs> seconds you all your threads <laughs> mm -hmm. um so delay um just uh pauses this execution for two seconds but not the thread okay um, and the cool thing is, all of that still works. All of the retry fallback stuff, it just works um, with the suspend function. So um, one thing I noticed is you need to restart. Uh, usually ah, you, you removed the timeout we had before because this would now then be problematic, right? Uh, yeah, with the two, with the two seconds yeah. here, yeah, that okay. would be problematic. Um, <laughs> I only added this basically to, to show the suspend function. Yeah. Uh, you can also use suspend functions for the REST client in Quarkus. Mm -hmm. So if you only call other functions, uh, then this is fine. Okay. What did I? You broke it. Fallback. Coding can't find fallback. Ah. Ha. Um, one important thing. If you add a fallback, then yeah. the fallback method must have exactly the same Signature. Ah, da -dum, da -dum. so yeah, it has all to be the needs to be a suspend okay. function. There's not a requirement from Kotlin, so you can also call non-suspending functions from a suspend function. Mm -hmm. um, but, but as a fallback, you yeah, need the, it. the way Quarkus matches that, how it matches to that method, mm -hmm. it just checks it's the same oh, way okay. of working. So it even can, though the logic isn't different. Yeah. Okay. So, so gotcha. um, that's <laughs> just how it's implemented in Quarkus. Yeah. And it makes sense, for example, for the uni stuff, you still need to get a uni. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's no big uh, thing. But that actually through. wasn't the, the mistake it showed us, right? It was, was that we didn't have this here. Yeah, you, you did ha it told you you didn't have the function, but it didn't tell you that uh, it had to be suspended, right? 
I think uh, let's check again. I said it was uh, the naming was incorrect. Uh, let me get rid of my face in here because then you can read it a little better. Fault tolerance definition exception. Mm -hmm. uh, invalid fallback. Can't find and a cookie continuation. So this ah, okay. Cookie continuation. Okay. Yeah. Can't find fallback with same parameters as the method. Okay. Yeah. So it says parameters, little, yeah. but at least here they yeah, they say this. So you, you have a kind of a hint. Okay, yeah. So if you see the code routine, you know, okay, there's something with suspend on it. But yeah. uh, actually from the message itself, it doesn't because yeah. the parameters are something different than... Yeah. So, okay. But okay, yeah. nice. Okay. Um, so now we can start this and this works just the same way. So maybe I have to get rid of my nice face again to see the timings, I guess. Yeah, let's make a call. What do we get this time? A new cookie. A new okay. cookie. Okay. So what happened? So, uh, so we, ah, okay. We have this delay now. Let's let's remove that so it doesn't take too long. Of course, first rebuilding, trying to bake a cookie, no ingredients left, falling back to old cookie. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Old cookie. Okay. Um, another time. Yeah. So we retried couple of times and in the end it worked and that's a nice thing it just works with this um, coroutines here mm -hmm. and um, like you can use it here in the rest endpoint you can also use it in a rest client suspend function so if you only have like um, you expose an API for your client and you only make calls to another rest APIs uh, you can make everything suspending and okay. super fast I thought it always has to be suspending if you're working on the client side uh, on the server side no it's uh, it's just a kotlin way of making a single wait okay um so some but you don't have to you don't have to do it yeah that's the nice thing about quarkus i can make this method here mm -hmm. suspend i can have this method here blocking and so now I have, of course, I need so a when, path, but. Ah, okay. I was just going to say, when, yeah, so when is which one going to be called? Okay, so you had cookies and cookies ABC. Or, or blocking. Yeah. Okay, okay. So in Quarkus, you can mix. Uh, reactive programming, suspend functions, um, unis, um, and blocking. Mm -hmm. You can mix it and use whatever you need for whichever endpoint you have. Nice. You Very can mix cool. it everywhere. This is really flexible. So you can use it where all the things that fit you best in the situation. Okay. Okay. Nice. Very cool.